Hello friends, happy Monday. This is Bunny Fish Crafts episode 13 and I am your host Heather known as Bunny Fish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Um, today is March 28th and oh, it's weird to be closing in on the end of the first quarter of the year but kind of nice. So I'm trying to like really think about what my goals are going to be for the next quarter, things like that. What did I accomplish this quarter? Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff that goes into your head when you love numbers and lists and details like that. So I worked on a specific project a lot since last I spoke to you. So this is the first sock. This is a Scraposaurus socks. And the gray is Mano Stel Uruguay Allegria. The minis, for the most part, are Little Bay Blue, except this green in here because I lost my Little Bay, little bay Blue mini, the green one. So that's the first sock. Friends, this is where the second sock was last time you saw it. I'm three rounds away from the toe. So four rounds, four rounds away from the toe. So I'm definitely finishing this sock tonight. Amazing. So excited to have this pair of socks that I wasn't really planning on making for myself, but kind of planning on making for myself, finished. And I really, really like, I it's so much joy that they are coordinating, but not matching. I love that so much so much joy. Um, on this one, the green is also not Little Bay Blue, it's something else. But I am totally happy with how they turned out. I think they are going to be so cool. And um, I'm counting this as a finished object, but I'll put in a picture here of what they look like on my feet so that you can see them because this will be finished tonight. I, I really can't see a way that this would not be finished during class time. Only four rounds and a toe decrease. Like, that's super easy. The other thing that I've worked on a little teeny tiny bit is the second sock in this pair. Sorry if the heating is really loud. I noticed when I was editing last week's video that when the heat is on, it's loud. Hopefully that doesn't bother you. If it does, say something and I will try to be really cognizant and not record when the heat is on. But hopefully it's not so annoying that you can't watch. But if it is, let me know and I will, I'll work on that. So here is the static zing. There's the pattern. That's what it looks like up close. That's the back of the sock. And I barely worked on this. We went to family dinner yesterday and I brought this sock along. So I did one color stripe and then started the second. So once the, once the sock is finished, I will be working really hard on this sock and hopefully finish it this week. Um, yeah, that's my goal. Other than that, I, worked on, I made so many blanket squares yesterday. I think I made five blanket squares yesterday on my best friend's blanket and finished the sashing section that I was working on. And then today I put another four or five squares on. So I'm not working on the blanket tonight. So I'm working on the sock. I didn't even bring the blanket to the knit shop. Um, so I guess the only other thing that I have to talk about right this minute is what I'm reading. I finished Renegades on yesterday. I finished it while the sun was still up, so I'm going to swing by the library at some point this week, maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, and drop that off. And then I'm still reading um, the Harlem Renaissance book. I'm reading during I'm reading that during family reading time because it's 30 minutes that I just like sit and I'm like, okay, we are going to read this book. Why am I forcing myself to read this book? I don't know. I don't know why I'm forcing myself to, I just am. I don't know why I'm not just DNFing it since it's not what I thought it was gonna be, but I'm not and I'm pushing through. Nobody knows why, I don't know why. But for my bedtime reading, I picked up Noor 
by Nendi Okorafor. I read a book by this author before and I did not look up the pronunciation. I think I did. I think I did look up the pronunciation of the author's name and I did not before I started recording this. But I will try to remember that that is a thing that I should do. Um, but, okay, first of all, Kalisha, is this person your twin? Because that's how I knew that I had read this book before because I was like, I feel like this author's name is familiar. And then I remembered seeing Kalisha's twin in the back of a book. Um, I believe that the book that I read before was about a girl from a tribe who goes off to a distant planet to go to school. And her tribe is like very earthy, non-technical, mostly non-technical. And then they come back and she has like a companion who's like a floating jellyfish sort of thing. And I remember really liking it and liking the writing style. And then I saw this on the library table, like right when I walked in the door and I was like, ooh, what are you? And this is not that, it's not the same sort of thing. Um, this main character has, I'm not very far, page 16 maybe. It's not a very long book. ADHD brain. It's only 214 pages and I believe that has like a, an acknowledgements page. I'm sorry if the reflection is like hurting you. I'm sorry. I'll try to be better about holding it so it's not hurting you. Um, the, yeah, the main character has like cybernetic parts and that's really frowned upon to enhance yourself. However, she was born with birth defects and that's what like started her journey onto getting these cybernetic parts. So I don't know where it's going. I don't know what it's about because I don't read book summaries. Like I have no idea what this says. I have no idea. I've, I like, when I was like, have I, do I know this author? I looked really quickly to make sure that the synopsis didn't have anything jump out at me. That I was like, oh yes, I've already read this book. Um, but I, did, I didn't actually read it. So I don't know what it's about because I would rather be surprised about what I'm reading. Um, back to Renegades. I didn't know, for instance, that this is about superheroes and supervillains until I started reading it. And um, I didn't really know it was post-apocalyptic. I feel like at some point I must have known that it was the first book in a trilogy, but I forgot that fact. And then I got to the end of the book and yes, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, this, super good. If you like Alice in Wonderland at all, I totally forgot that I was reading and I didn't totally forget. I totally forgot what character I was reading about in this Alice in Wonderland like retelling and then it got to the like last 10 pages and I was like what did I just read oh it was so good um also she wrote the lunar chronicles which is super good if you like post-apocalyptic YA fantasy retellings of fairy tales because it's got Cinderella Little Red Riding Hood um Rapunzel and Snow White basically are the main characters introduced but anyway I got to the end of the book and don't miss the thrilling conclusion to Renegades coming of November 2018 and I was like what what there's a conclusion so then I had to look and see how many books were in the series or trilogy or whatever it's a trilogy I've already put books two and three on hold for later this year one I think I have on hold for May and one for June. I don't remember, but I'm super excited about reading them sometime in the near to mid future, but not yet because I have so many books to read right now. All right. Hi. Was that really, really fast? I'm sorry. I realized that now probably that was really fast, but I got really excited. I'm going to, I'm going to go knit before I have class and I will check in with you sometime in the near future. 
Hello, sunshines. Happy Saturday. I have been sparse in my recording this week. Um, I, yeah, I've just been really busy. It's the week before spring break, or it was at school, which means that, like, the kids were, like, next level. <laughs> so I didn't have a ton of knitting time. Um, plus, my one-on-one -on -one kiddo was absent. I'm sorry, I was just winding mohair at the shop um, while I was working, and I have mohair in my eye. Um, oh, so my kiddo wasn't there some days, so then I was doing like extra work that was not conducive to knitting while I was at work, so it's fine. Not not like extra like later in the day, just like different work than my normal day to day. Um, also, I don't know what this shawl is called. It's by Josh Rick Srebinski. I'll put the name right here because he knit it for me. I think he knit it for himself and then I loved it and he gave it to me, which is just as good. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing and it's really, really lovely. I don't have a ton to say today, except that um, our butterflies were emerging yesterday at school. I sadly think we might have one that did not make it out of the chrysalis. It seemed pretty stuck. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's nature, right? So that is, and I, I have pictures and stuff at the end of the video. So you can see that there. Um, yeah, I haven't knit a ton, a ton. I did finish that one sock. I'm pretty sure I already told you about that. And then I have this sock, which was here last time you saw it. And I am dangerously close to the toe. I just need to do this green stripe right here. I've just started it right here. So I need to finish that green stripe and then finish out the toe, I think. Like, I really feel like this ball of yarn is never ending. I didn't think I had this much left. Do you remember when I was saying, oh, I only have three color repeats? Well, I think I had five left over. So I'm going to do the toe in this. This is going to be the toe versus the other one where I had this gray as the toe because I only have this much left. And I want to put in an afterthought heel in a sock. And I don't know, I have this much and then another small little nugget of this yarn left over. And I think that might be enough to do a heel, but I'm not sure. Um, but I don't want to use that for the toe. I'm going to try. I'm going to get as far as I can with this and the little nugget. And then if I have to do another color in the afterthought heel, it's for Patrick, so he won't mind. Um... Yeah, I think all of I think I've already said all of the information for the pattern that I'm working on. Um, it's already over that way. Uh, ah. So I am going to round this off with something exciting that's happening. We are leaving here and going to Disney. Yay! Like literally in a few minutes, I'm going to be in the car. And we're gonna go and drive and see the kids dad and um, they're gonna stay the night there and we're gonna stay the night with Patrick's godparents and when you see this if you watch it when it drops um, I will be in Disney having so much fun so I do have some footage of some travel travel projects um, that I did start because trying to cast things on in the car or like right before we go to Disney or whatever I knew that would be stressful and not as successful as just casting it on now so I'll put in that footage here hello friends I came into work early so I could wind some project yarns and get ready for travel knitting we are driving to Disney. So that's going to be like, I don't know, 20-ish hours in the car. We're, do, we're stopping 
partway through to stay with some family overnight. But that's a lot of time in the car and then a lot of time walking around and I can walk in it at the same time. And yeah, I know that I'm overpacking, but I'd rather have too much knitting than run out. So let me turn you back around and I'll show you what I'm planning on taking right now. We're still two weeks out and anything that I don't finish in on my March to-do list is also going to come because we're driving, I have the room in the car, may as well take the things. So I have right now a crochet cowl, a scrappy pair of socks, and a hat that I am currently working on. So those things will all be going with. Well, I also am currently working on a pair of fingerless mitts, but I'm finishing those today, so those don't count. <laughs> so yeah, those are things that will also come if I don't finish them in the next two weeks, which the only one that I think that might happen with is the hat. So let's look at what I am taking. I have already started winding this yarn for the sweater. Oh, I left the pattern over there. That's not helpful. Pause. So I am going to be using the dovetail pattern <laughs> for numbers and stuff, but not following it exactly. I so I'll be making a modified dovetail. This calls for worsted weight yarn. The yarn that I have is DK weight. But I want to make a beautiful colorwork sweater. And I bought this yarn when Humble Bumble was going out of business and had a 40% off yarn sale. They are now back to dyeing yarn, which is so exciting because I love their colorways. But I couldn't pass up a hand dyed sweater for like 35 bucks. So, so pretty. So these Tempest, the Tempest colorway is a gorgeous purplish. And then I have a teal. My plan is to do this yoke part in the teal and then um, whatever I can get for sleeves and underbust in the teal and then go into the purple for the body. And I want it to be a short sleeve sweater. I think that I should have enough yardage for that, but we'll see. I have to swatch and do some math and stuff. And then I'm going to take my singles cowl, which was living in this bag, but this is going to be my walking around the park bag because it's small. It's easy to clip onto whatever bag I'm taking um, and my sock will go in there. But this I'm going to take for in the evening time when I'm too tired to think because it's really simple just chain striping every round and that's going to go in this gorgeous bag does it have a tag on it I don't think it does my friend made this so I just love it and I'm excited for it um I don't have my sweater bag for this yarn yet it's currently at home holding green mini skeins for my future blanket because this yarn was living in my stash in this plastic bag. So I will just switch which bags the minis are in and put the sweater in there um, after I swatch and get all the notions and stuff. And then I'm going to take two pairs of socks to work on. And that may seem really extreme. However, depending on what pattern I go with, I can knit a sock in a day like easily a leg and a foot walking around in a day especially if I'm doing something like afterthought heels then it's a no-brainer so I want to take two pairs of socks just in case do I think I can finish a sweater a cowl two socks and maybe a hat if I bring that along probably not but you know <laughs> I could have a lot of sitting time or I could have no sitting time. I have no idea. I've never been to Disney before. I do know that I knit all the time when I'm walking though and standing and I can make a lot of progress. So I really think that these are going to be um, partying it up and getting down socks by Megan Williams and I will cut in an afterthought heel 
because that pattern is so super simple but very effective. <laughs> it looks really, really cool. And then I don't know what I'll do with these. I, it could be the same pattern again. It's like just not vanilla enough to be really interesting, especially because um, parting it up and getting down is kind of two patterns in one. So yeah, I'm going to get all this yarn wound and ready. Um, I... I'm not going to keep all the sock yarn in that bag though. I'll probably just honestly keep it in a Ziploc in my bag so that I can pull out the next sock. But I am going to um, get needles and stuff ready when I get home. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for travel knitting. Um, I'm kind of excited for Disney. All right, friends, we are one week out from the trip. I have swatched. So this is my swatch measurement before I washed it, so I would have an idea for the sweater. Um, <laughs> and this gauge is totally different than what it calls for in the sweater, which is fine. I'll just do some sweater math, I'll make it work. I do like the fabric that I got, like the drape, I like um, how not super dense it is. I also did work it in the round as, um, as recommended because it's a sweater pattern worked in the round but I'm not cutting these because I might need them for my sweater because I only have two balls of that purple and one ball of the other yarn so we'll see I don't know if this will get worked into the sweater or not but I didn't want to knead it and then have it in just tiny little sections I'm also gonna take this this coffee chalkboard um, cross stitch because I saw it and I was like, ooh, that looks like fun. I don't know if I'm gonna stitch on it at all, but I'm gonna take it because it takes up almost no space and it's fine. I also decided that, because I've been kind of on a sock kick, um, I decided that these were gonna be one of the pairs of socks that Patrick was going to take as like his packed socks. He's, we're taking four pairs of socks, him and I. Four pairs of hand knit socks because we'll be in Florida we can wash what we have we can hang them to dry um, he <laughs> so one of the, his pairs is a pair that's finished one of the pairs is a pair that I'm currently knitting on but we'll definitely finish before we go on the trip and then I pulled another pair out of his sock drawer and then I remembered that I had these that I just need to mend so this sock the heel looked pretty much exactly like this. I don't know what the blend of this mini skein was. I think it's a silk, I'm pretty sure it's a silk merino pair, pair, mini, um, which Patrick blew through. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to, it was a, a um, short row heel, so I just pulled out the short row heel, and I'll do the same on the second sock. And I'm just gonna put in an afterthought heel in contrasting yarns because I don't have anything that matches this particularly but again he won't care and that's you know a pair of socks that gets to live a little bit longer after I put in two hours of work so totally worth it but that's going in the in the um in the luggage too is it luggage if we're driving I don't know I don't know Clearly I can't talk today. So I'll see you probably when we're on the road. So the next time you see me, I will have the sock finished for sure. That'll probably be at the end of this episode. Um, hopefully I can, hopefully I can get this up on Monday at some point because driving and stuff and I don't know what internet is gonna look like, but whatever, it's fine. Um, so yeah, the sock, that pair of socks will be finished and you'll see it possibly on Patrick's feet because he is so spoiled. All right, friends, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Um, I will see you in about a week with some fun travel projects, maybe some footage from the park. I don't know yet what I'm going to be taking pictures of and stuff. I'm not 
great at taking pictures when we're out and about or video. I'm so, I'm usually just so in the moment that I don't even think to document. Um, so we'll see what I have for you. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things that help me be seen and a channel grow. And I love talking to you anyway. I'm usually pretty good about getting back to comments in a timely fashion. So I love chatting with you. And for real, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye friends. I'm Heather, known as Bunnyfish. No, I don't know.